welcome back to my videos and channel as a, in this lecture we are going to learn how we uh, configure azure ad connect so in this lab we have two tasks one we will see how we configure active directory synchronizations with Azure AD Connect and in task two, we will verify the configurations in Azure AD. So let's start. So first of all, guys, uh, I'm going to log into my machine. First of all, guys, we have to download our Azure AD Connect. To do that, browse to this site. show you one thing that this computer is member of our domain so you can see here that this computer name is this and is connected to or is member of contosoft.com domain and i have logged in to this machine as a enterprise administrator now enterprise or you say domain admin because uh, administrator is member of both like domain admin and enterprise admin you can see that it is downloading taking a little bit time Updated. So you can see that as your AD connect dot MSI. Double click here. Agree. Say continue. And here you have customize and express it. Customize if you want, suppose that in your environment you have uh, multiple domain or you want to you want to sync only the user from a specific domain or from a specific OU. If you want to ch uh, change your authentication method, 
So customize actually help you to customize according to your requirement. If you want to go with the express setting, so express setting will help you to configure with the all default settings. So you don't have control on it. So we are going with the customize. And we have the option here. Required components, it will install all these components and just you click install. Now, here you have the sign in page. So, user to sign in option, there are different options. So by default, as you can see, that the password has synchronization is selected. So, and if you want, you can select other options also. So, you have So you have different options based on your uh, requirement. You will say, uh, I will discuss about these options later on in my next video. Okay, so just click on uh, make sure that your password has synchronized is selected. Now click on next, and here you have entered your global administrator account. So my global administrator account is this one and the password for my global admin is Now we need to specify our enterprise admin Authenticating now, click on add, and here you have entered your interface admin credentials. So the authentication is successful. Now I say next. This option and say next. And now here you have the options to specify the OU which you want to select. 
So now you have different options. So select the OU. So only the user from this selected uh, OUs will be uh, seen to our Azure AD. Next. Next. Pass the pass as synchronization. Install. So this process may take around three to five minutes based on the number of uh, object internet connections and other factors. So meanwhile, I'm going to log into the portal. Meanwhile, if we look at the Microsoft Enter. Still in process. Yeah, done. So you can see that configuration is completed. So now we can check 
power users. So if I go here, user and all users. the synchronization starts you will see the optimized users If you look at the group, the group has been synchronized. And you can see the type of your group. Now, if I go back to users, we can verify that the users. Now you see this on premise, yes. So this user has been synchronized from on premise to SUVD. So this is how we actually configure. As your AD connect to synchronize our object from on premise AD to Azure AD. So, Azure AD, as I told you in my previous uh, videos, that Azure AD has become Microsoft Intra AD. So, Microsoft has been in this. So, thank you guys for watching this video. See you in my next video.